We're back. <laughs> we are back, and I'm here with Wade Krilich. Krilich, yes. Krilich. I think I said it right the first time, yes. but that time Thank I you. butchered a little bit. But good to have you this morning. <laughs> Thank you. And you brought some guests. I did. I yeah. brought some bees and yeah. an observation hive. I love it. It's so interesting. I've been. I don't know if the viewers can hear, but I can hear their, their, what, their humming or yes, their, that's yeah. their wings. So mm -hmm. their wings beat about okay. um, ten thousand times per second. Oh, okay. Um, in that, well, all the bees in that observation hive. Uh, so that's the buzzing you're hearing. Okay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's cool. So you, I asked you if they sleep, and you said they do. Um, just briefly. Just yeah. little snippets of sleep. Sometimes you can see them stuck into one of the cells. Yeah. Um, and the viewers might be able to see that on the front. Yeah. Uh, and they just put their head in there. Yeah. Um, and they, that's how they get a little yeah, shut-eye? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <little laughs> and how long do they live? Uh, the bees, up to 45 days mm -hmm. is the typical lifespan. The queen can live up to two years. Okay. She's kind of the boss of the hive. Long live the queen. Right? <laughs> Long live the queen. That's where it comes from. And, um, yeah, so they can, the worker bees live between, uh, yeah, 20 and 45 days. So tell me how this works, how the bees make honey. So there's um, three distinct different bees in the hive. There's one queen bee, mm -hmm. um, maybe 100 to 500 drone bees, which are the only males in the hive. Mm -hmm. um, their sole purpose is to procreate with the queen. Mm -hmm. And then the rest of the bees, up to 80,000, are worker bees oh, wow. um, okay. per hive. And they're all females. The only um, males in the hive are the drones, like I said. Okay. And the worker bees have, um, there's three different worker bees, hive bees, nerf nurse bees and field bees um, so each one of the worker bees has its own distinct job um, mm -hmm. the hive bees take care of the young bees and the larva um, those are the nurse bees okay. the worker bees uh, kind of clean up the hive and seal it up make sure the elements stay out make sure the bees stay healthy inside the hive mm -hmm. and then the field bee is the ones that you actually see out going getting pollen bringing it back to the hive um, putting it in cells mixing it up with some uh, be regurgitation, as yeah. some people say, and yeah. then um, sealing the cell off, and you can see some of the cells are capped, and then in there, um, the honey's formed after a few days. That is so amazing. Right? It's yeah. a miracle, it I is, feel like. It is you know? a miracle. It is they were a their very system. interesting yeah. insect. Yeah. And you've been doing this your whole life, you said. Yes, I have. When I was in 4-H, um, we got our first beehive, and I was in 4-H from first to 12th grade, so I think it was about second or third grade mm -hmm. I got into bees. Yeah. Um, it's always been a strong interest to in my family, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. bees. Yes. So you are you showed me a little bit of your uh, right? battle scars. Y yes, <laughs> I, did, I did get stung a little last night. Um, yeah. I took the frames out of the hive a little too late, I believe, and they were already uh, bedding down. It's <laughs> not a technical term for bees, but yeah. um, yes, the bees were already, I think, done with disturbances. Okay. So they weren't very happy with me last night. So you, so with the first, do you remember the first time you went into a hive? Or I do remember the first yeah, time I went into a hive. What was that like? Um, back in those days, no, I wasn't nervous. But back in those days, we didn't have the bee suits. Okay. We had duct tape around our long sleeve shirts. Good old um, duct tape. Right, good old <laughs> duct tape. And then uh, it kind of progressed into actually getting the white um, bee suit that you might see. So is it true that if you're just very still and, and purposeful in what you're doing and, and, you know, I mean, that they'll just kind of fly around you and leave you alone? Or that no? is true. Okay. Um, there are a couple of beekeepers in Amador County who um, enter their hives without any protection. Oh, yeah. um, and they say I've actually the least amount of clothing is the best. Uh -huh. um, and then you just kind of keep your heart rate down. You don't want to breathe on the bees. Um, your exhale um, will kind of excite them a little bit. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so there's some beekeepers on a very hobby scale, not on a commercial scale at yeah. all, that um, will go into the hives wearing no protection. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Have you ever done that? Um, my brother does all the time. Does he? Yes. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. He still That's has uh, 14 hives. Yeah. And so they make honey, and yes. as we know, and I love honey. It's one of my favorites. I have it almost every day. A little bit of honey. Right. I love awesome. it. So, um, but tell me about local honey and allergies prevent allergy prevention. Right. Uh, so local honey is great for um, allergy prevention or um, I guess reduction of symptoms from mm -hmm. allergies mm -hmm. because of all the pollen that's in the honey. So for right now, excuse me, the bees that we have in this hive or you know from the hive in the observation hive there have been primarily foraging on lavender and sunflowers. Um, okay. That's in bloom around our property right now. Yeah. And uh, so if say someone was allergic to um, smelling a sunflower or lavender, which I haven't met anybody that's yeah, allergic to that yet. Yeah, who doesn't love that, yeah. Um, but the pollen in the honey from maybe the month that surrounds this date 
um, would be great to relieve those symptoms uh, awesome. from that allergy. I love homeopathic remedies yes, like that. So right. that's cool. Yes. So, so lavender, you guys also grow a lot of that. Um, this is a recent endeavor of mine okay. um, since April. But yes, we uh, are growing lavender, um, not only for the bees, but also to sell at markets. Okay. Um, and then to make essential oil with. Yeah. So do you yeah. guys make essential oil? Uh, not as of yet. We okay. haven't had a big enough harvest, but that is the goal. Yes, that it's is a, the goal. It's pretty big, isn't it? Right. Now? I mean, Very it's, big. it's, it's really, huge. It's yeah. really taking off. Yeah. Um, and it's Got to get on that bandwagon. Yeah, right. I mean, hopefully it's not just a bandwagon. Uh -huh. Hopefully it's something. Because yeah. I mean, what do you what do you say about essential oils? Do you really believe in the um, medicinal benefits? I, I do believe in the medicinal yeah. benefits. We um, I have. 62 um, lavender plants kind of in my immediate area around my house and just yeah. harvesting these last night you can notice a little euphoric feeling a calming mm -hmm. sensation around it yeah um, I think there is something to be said about that I am very sensitive to smells yeah but um, the lavender does uh, there's so much oil content in it I don't see how the the plant couldn't produce something that you know is beneficial to people yeah yeah uh -huh. is there any be medicinal benefit in sunflower uh, just the beauty of them yeah, yeah. I love them I love them they're, <laughs> yeah. they're so stunning yeah exactly exactly so that you have you have orange blossom honey too right I like the orange you don't have that no I don't there okay. is um, yeah so every honey um, can be flavored yeah or it can be um, from actually that orchard right right yes. okay good yeah. all right well stick around we're gonna take a awesome. quick break and we'll be right back cool. You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN.